Hello, welcome to another Breath of the Wild episode. Today I'm going to be doing my top 5 favourite bows. If you haven't gone and seen the last two episodes on Stealth Ops and top 5 favourite um, weapons, then yeah, go see that. Anyway, my number 5 spot is the Royal Guard bow. Now, I don't actually have this bow, but like I know it's stats on it. It's got pretty high damage, better than the Royal bow. However, it's got low durability, you can only find it in Hyrule Castle. Which, hmm. This, it's like the strongest bow, but, you can only, but it's got really low durability, you can only find it one place, so... Say what you will on that. You know, I mean, it's a good bow, if you can find it in Hyrule Castle. I oh, know, I certainly can't find one. <laughs> anyway, my fourth favourite bow... Is... The Royal Bow. The Royal Bow you can find on any, you know, any real good enemies. You've got like 38 power, which is pretty nice. Obviously you get power up, but yeah. It's got 32 power, which is not bad. You can find it on many high level enemies. So we're going to be carrying more weapons. It's a good bow, you know. You can find it well, more common once you've done all the Divine Beasts. It's just nice to have. Just a good bow in general. You know, my third favourite bow is the Ancient Bow. The thing about the Ancient Bow is that it always fires in a straight line. See? Like, I'll say, always fires in a straight line. Most bows are going to curve, but not this one. You craft this from the Ateno Ancient Tech. No, it's not. A Kala Ancient Tech Lab. Right over here. For a thousand rupees and some Guardian parts. Always fires in a straight line. And it's genuinely a strong bow. It's better than the Royal Bow. By about six power. It's better than the Lionel Bow. So, you know, it's a pretty good bow. Now, this is a hard choice between second and first place. But I'm going to have to give the Lionel Bow second here. The Lionel Bow is a three shot bow, which is extremely good. Having three shots is just nice to have, really. Like, basically, you can do three times the damage output. This one has a five shot burst. And one of the. And. The, and you see, three-shot bows are very wet, rare. Obviously, you can find because the only other three-shot bows I'm pretty sure are out there: are the Great Falcon Bow, which you get for doing the Rito Divine Beast, or the Forest Dweller's Bow, Korok Bow, if you will. The Korok Bow is weaker and very much rarer. The Great Falcon Bow is also weaker, and it can't have the five-shot buff. The five-shot buff makes this weapon extremely powerful. Having just five shots of any arrow is good. But combine this with like bomb arrows or shock arrows, you be getting on a lot of damage. Plus it just looks nice. Look at that. I thought look at this. Look at that. That looks nice. But yeah. This bow is genuinely, you know, good. It's like, why wouldn't you want this bow? Finally, before I reveal my first choice, I want to give some honourable mentions. First of all, I'm going to give... Um, my honourable mention is to all monster bows. Talking Boko and the Zalfo bow. They're not the best bows, but they're very readily available. Every, basically, whenever you see an archer of a cobble, they'll usually have what, some sort of bow like that. You know? And my second honourable mention, and my final one, is to the Knight's Bow. Knight, Soldier and Traveller's Bow. You find you can find these early game, they're not good, but they're, be they're most likely better than the Boko Bows you get in. However, they're not as readily available, but some enemies do carry them. Definitely more available than Royal Bows, I'd say, than most other ones. Hmm. So yeah, those are the honourable mentions. And finally, my favourite bow 
My favourite bow, bl bows, plural, are the Golden and Fenric bow. Now these bows are extremely unique. This is basically a sniper bow. This has a bow passed down through the Sheikah Shrine, concentrating before drawing the sting, as you hit distant enemies as well as easily those that knit nearby. Basically, it has an extra zoom function. In this game, that's really good because it makes your shots much more accurate. You can already see the difference. These bows are great for hunting, killing enemies. They're the most accurate of bows. Because even though they don't know in the straight line, you can hit distant targets pretty easily. Now, the Fennec bow is quite rare. I do know a place where you can get one. But, like, it's very rare to see one. I mean, I can show you right now. How the golden bow is more readily available. The golden bow you can get from Gerudo City and some Gerudo hideouts kind of thing. You can get Fennec bow from over here. That's why I got just got one now. But then I used up and broke it. That one I've got in my house is my save one. Now you can get Fenric bows over here. You go over to the Gerudo Tower, and right on this rock over here, there'll be there'll be rocks you can stasis, stasis them, and push them in to find yourself a nice Gerudo stash in general. You get spear, edge of duality. You get moonlight skimtar, Gerudo Gerudo shield, and the golden bow. You can also get it in the Gerudo Town. I'm pretty sure. Just by going there. So this, this bow, so the golden bow is much more readily available. That bow's pretty good. The golden bow though is better since it has four extra power. These bows, where they shine, I think, is hunting because animals don't have a lot of HP, like monsters. So if you can get a headshot on those with that, it it does a lot of damage, especially with attack ups as well. If you have a barbarian armor while wearing this, that's going to be a lot more damage. Currently, I got the Chica armor on, but you know, hey, why not? Speaking about armor, my armor top five is going to be coming up next episode. Actually, no, it isn't, because I've already done the armor, haven't I? I'll have to actually see if I've done armor. I know I've done weapons and bows. <laughs> probably be shield next next episode. Yeah, probably be shield. I think I've already done armor. I'll have to see though, won't I? We surfing down the hill, and you know how you know how I'm gonna end this episode. A Lionel barrel, of course. I know the perfect place to find one. So what's a Kakariko village? Hmm. Yeah. So if you if you enjoyed this top five, <laughs> I say top ten, but it's a top five. If you enjoyed this top five, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That would be very good. Yeah. Oh yeah, speak <laughs> if you look at that rupee count, I've got 15,000. The way I got those rupees is because, you see, when you fight white bokoblins or white enemies, they give you better stuff, and well, they give you like a gem, so I just got one of those. So yeah, <laughs> why not? Hmm. What's some good weapons though? I kind of keep my ancient spear because it looks cool. It's the worst guardian weapon I could have chosen, so I'll choose this. Well, see we'll my weapons. I got some good ones. But I've been to Hyrule Castle recently. I, I couldn't actually find the Royal Guard's bow, but I found the Royal Guard Claymore, Great Thunderblade, Master Sword. I even found the Hyrule Shield. I found the Hinox. It's in like it's in the dungeons. Not Stormlock, sorry, but you find the Stormlocks in the dungeons, and basically what it does is like um, you kill it, you get a great Thunderblade, some other, I think it's like other weapons, and yeah, gotta get the fairies. There you go. But yeah, you get a um, great Thunderblade, Hyrule Shield, you get some other stuff. I think you get like a Royal Guard weapon or something like that. Another place to go in Hyrule Castle is a Royal. The guards chamber. You're gonna get a royal claymore there, and a royal guard claymore. You're gonna get a lot of good stuff. You can kind of follow me everywhere I go. Mm.
Like, a lot of the game kind of off, dude. But it's annoying. He's dead. Oh, I do like the concept of them, though. They kind of just appear. And they join the fight with the enemies. I like that. Well, they're not hard to beat. I just like the fact that they can't show up, to be honest. I know there's a line on the down here I haven't beaten yet. But yeah. But anyway. I'll see you guys when we get when we find the Lionel. Here we are. The Lionel. Let's go get him. Go behind a tree. You see this? Now I know what I need to do. Get out my good armor. Barbarian armor. And Always gotta get out of that attack boosting food. Stuff you say, something. What weapons do I want to use for this? I think Agent Spear's gonna have to go next. The Zid Rods are too, too good. Yeah, sorry, Agent Spear, you're going next. Great down of load. Lionel Angry. Why did my soul run low on energy? Ancient spear. <laughs> Got all the arm in the world, boys. Oh, oh, I didn't think he attacked three times. It's fine, I've got. Oh, I can mount him. The mounts are oh, okay. Mount. Agent Spear broke. Focus Fury is broken. There you go. Defeated. Lay down your arms. Battle horn sapphires. Look at all this. All this sweet, glorious loot. Got a guardian shield right here. Don't need that. 30. Savage line with durability up. Got so many good shields, man. I got such good loot that I don't even want to fight anyone. I just want to keep it. Oh. Long throw. Rubbish. And what we're getting for here? Five shot bow or attack up? Attack up 16. That's good. That's good. I'll take that. Any day. Any day of the week. Do I have anything else to fight over here? The Hinox respawned. No. Doesn't look like it. Spin around. I love this view. Look at that. Great Thunderblade. Or do you want to trip Great Thunderblade? If you like switch weapons, it will automatically recharge. It's thunder. Recharge, see? But this is going to be it for this episode. Thank, thank you all for watching this episode on Breath of the Wild. And I'll see you guys later for a Smash episode. Thank you, all, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.